Does my car need a radiator cap? Let's talk about it. Water boils at 212 degrees. Coolant, when properly mixed 50-50 with the deionized water, is going to boil at about 223 degrees. The motors are going to run at about, oh, about 220 degrees. In the summer, I've seen 230, 235 plus. So we have to have a radiator cap. And why do we have to have one? Well, they are pressurized and monitored. So this one's set at 16 PSI. The old one's no good. There, I can't find any leaks in this system right here. But because this cap won't hold any pressure, the boiling point is actually close to the normal operating temperature and letting it push out the coolant. So with a new cap on here, we're gonna get uh, three more degrees for every PSI. So for a 16 pound cap, that's like 48 extra degrees or 271 degrees before it's gonna overheat. So not only do you need a radiator cap, you need a good radiator cap on 